biomass fuel is any biological material that can be used to generate heat or electricity that has been derived from living or recently living organisms. The Bennington College biomass plant runs on wood chips. These wood chips are supplied by a company called Whole Forest Products, which is a family-run business that practices sustainable forestry operations. They operate throughout New England and get wood chips from logging, lumber, forest managing operations, and mill residues. In the biomass plant, heat that is generated from burning wood chips in the furnace is transferred to steam by a heat exchanger. This steam is then centrally distributed around campus, providing heating and hot water for the majority of the building. The college opened the biomass plant in 2008. The objective was to cut heating costs that were being incurred by the existing fuel oil based plant and to reduce carbon emissions. The college aims to use biomass heat for 85% of its needs. Like many other colleges in the country, Bennington will be making considerable savings from making this switch. According to the Kyoto Protocol and the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, biomass energy is carbon neutral. The idea behind this is that the carbon being released in producing biomass energy is negated by the uptake of carbon from new plant growth. However, burning biomass releases carbon into the atmosphere immediately, while the sequestration of carbon by forests takes place over a much longer period of time, anywhere from 50 to 120 years in northern hardwood forests. This carbon accounting error exists because the protocol requires carbon emissions to be counted when trees are cut rather than from stack and tailpipe emissions. The college is currently looking into signing a pledge to achieve climate neutrality in a reasonable time frame. Based on protocol, the college could consider the biomass plant to be carbon neutral. The campus receives around 150 truckloads of wood chips per year. During the 2009-2010 heating season, 4,900 tons were consumed. If Bennington is serious about its attempt to be climate neutral, can the carbon accounting errors of the climate change protocol be accepted? Will the college take on the challenge of making its biomass center carbon neutral or as close to carbon neutral as possible? <laughs>